Welcome to the Game of Risk, everyone. I'm your host, Olive XCA, top player at this game. Back at you with some Yorp Advanced Progressive Capitals. We have the incredible one border, Spain and West Africa here. Already we see green and yellow fighting for this. I'm going to be a noob. I know black is already here in Vienna. Yellow cannot be here. So I basically have claim to all of this. And oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I We see all of this going on right here, which is absolutely insane. Yeah, the only capital that we're missing is the green... No, not even the green player. The blue player. Wow, so this board's super opened up. So my plan is I need to be expanding as fast as possible right now. We expand fast, grow strong. We play this out that way, ladies and gentlemen. I am super excited to see how this one goes. So on uh, this move here, I'm going to be taking over this bonus. I'm then going to be taking over this bonus here. Have a nice capital as a six. And going back. I don't... And let's see what this blue doing. Please blue be on Gaskin. That will be so hilarious. Okay, and white gets eight. Yep, super reasonable. The white player is uh, going for Spain. That makes so much sense right here. I'm completely fine with that. Right now, I, this almost seems like a pseudo three or four person game. The goals expand super fast. Crapitals? We are all random users. These are capitals. These are very nice, nice things right here. We, we show respect to our capitals, my good sir. Black gets 14. They actually got two capital bonuses for themselves. Now they have three bonuses. So Black is going to potentially snowball... Crazy, crazy fast right here because everybody else is um, tapping away from him. Either way, this game is going to be ending dynamically fast for itself because so many people capped poorly in the bottom fighting for that uh, one honey pot. The fact that I'm able to see all of this down here is amazing from a content creation perspective. But with that, I'm just taking over and holding the noob corner down now. I am pretty much matching the uh, the black player overall in like a uh, troop generation while keeping my capital itself pretty strong. I'm guessing the blue player must be going for the Orient right now. That seems to be the only thing that's really making any sense at the moment. And white is getting 10. White does have Spain. If this game was completely equal, I'd be putting this down towards a black player to win. White needs to put more troops on capital. Does white break? It's possible that white broke. If white just... They, I saw two attacks. This, this lit up twice. So you guys, you can, if you want to fall greed, you can see right that right there. You can fall greed by seeing how much this lights up. White chose to attack black right there. Because they saw, they saw black was getting too strong. Black, of course, is going to be completely pissed off about this. And now they're going to be clearing the white player out of the board. They don't clear him out, though. They left white here on Poland. That's hilarious. And now does yellow clear me out of here? Like, I'm so happy, guys, that I have this two and this two right here. No! I wanted to see this. The audience wants to be entertained. Come on, people. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. No, I don't see the stupidity going on underneath there anymore. Uh, oh, well, it's completely fine. Not a big deal. We shall go off and destroy everything now, ladies and gentlemen. Destroy everything with reckless abandon. Attacking to our heart's content. Giving a fist pound 
to the blue player. And going back on capital so we do not die. If the board lets me hold all of this, on the next move, I will completely blast the black player the smithereens because I think they're my only competition. White right now is the only person having any semblance of keeping this game in any sense of order. Now, I'm not seeing at all where my opponents are attacking from at the moment. And that's a good sign, right? But Black's getting 17. Black has uh, three bonuses now. The 4 4 4. Leader, two out of six. Okay, so Blue just lost her capital. Blue just lost the capital. So Blue is completely boned at this point. Yellow has eight. So Yellow does have the North Africa bonus. Yeah, so Blue is basically dead at this point. Yellow is trapped back here. Green is trapped back here. Blue has literally given up. My only competition really is black. Okay, so blue get, green gets five. So yet white is breaking the green player in Rabat. So I'm getting 25 troops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm just going to be pounding the, uh, the black player's face in right now. I'm just going to pound their entire face in. And yeah. You can just see this, guys. I'm just taking over the entirety of the map right now. Of course, I'm expanding fast. Black, I'm doing this to you because I can. I'm doing this quite literally because I freaking can right now. Uh, I need to keep my stack active. I'm leaving it right here. So black is just going to be getting seven now. This might be a really rare, super fast game for us, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm fine with that. Sometimes you guys need to see something fast. Because these are, these are excellent blizzards. I'm playing this amazingly. I have 64 troops right now. Uh, the black player trades in. But they're not even breaking our Russia or noob corner. <laughs> oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, these people are letting me cook right now. These people are letting me cook. <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. And you can see right now, guys, yellow is just expanding through the Orient at the moment. That's the only legitimate way for them to get cards. Green is literally stuck right here. And now we just get 27 troops. Because <laughs> why the hell not, ladies and gentlemen? Why the hell not? I want to continue attacking black because, again, they're my only threat right now. Yep, and black just gives up. Beautiful. They realize that, like, their game is over. So I don't need to be leaving a lot here. I'll just leave the troops down like this. Knock yellow out. Put the white player in timeout. <laughs> now white must trade in to get a card. Oh, this is just this is just dirty. This is just dirty. My opponents were all fighting for the bottom of the board. But little did they know, Noob Corner was just way too OP and everybody else just gave up right away. Oh my goodness gracious, I am loving this right now. So white's going to slam my nine. This is completely fine. The most important thing is that they're not going to be attacking a lot around the board. I think the title of this is like the greatest reverse honeypot ever. That is true. I don't need to leave like a lot on capital. I can probably start taking off a lot on capital. Now yellow is the only one left that can do anything. 
If they attack me, while well, I'd be annoyed by it, I'd really respect the move of them doing it. There's yellow. Yes. Excellent job by the yellow player. They're pounding my face in because I'm a greedy, greedy boy. So proud of the yellow player doing this. Excellent job. Seriously. Well played. Well played. We want to see good moves like this, ladies and gentlemen. So proud of the yellow player for doing this. But now, guys, we're still getting 22 troops. I still think this is too much, potentially. Let's see. We got to put the uh, white player in jail. Oh, the white player's out of jail. That's a smart move. We're just going to break everything because we can. And then just make sure we don't lose our capital. We put it back on right here. We now have all of this board down. White's just getting through. They gave up the capital for themselves. I think they're going to maybe try to kill the blue player, but they're going to have to find this Gazian tap. And I have a 26 right here. They can't do poopy to me. They're just literally going completely off kilt right now to try to do something. I have no set right now. These guys are doing something. These guys are cooking. They're trying. So the green player has a potential shot right here. These. This was almost an amazing reverse honeypot. This white player actually, I think, sacrificed their entire game right now to try and get the kill off. So as much as I want to like laugh about this and everything, I do have to... I, I actually can't... I have to do everything impossible to win right now. I actually have to do everything possible to win. I'm going to kill anyone that I can based when I have the opportunity to kill them. Yeah, so Yell is going to have to try to find the blue player. But they have to go through an 8. 17, yeah. They're going to try to find blue. They're going to get the blue player kill because Yellow had that trade in. Yeah, okay, so Yellow has the blue player kill now. Unfortunate, but it's fine. So, what kill can we get? We can get the black player kill, I think. With the black player kill, we will get a trade-in. That trade-in is worth 20. With the 20 trade-in, we need to clear out the yellow player to put them into purgatory. And that will force them to then attack into green. Because yellow should have the trade-in. This is actually a very tough situation. This game is not over yet. Because white basically sacrificed their entire game to make sure that I cannot win. So I'm getting 10 troops right now. Uh, I need to go off. We kill black. Because that should be black's last spot. And then we look to clear out the yellow player. We only need 21 troops for 100% roll. Okay, we're going to hit this, this stack now to ensure that we get the kill. Very good. Now that's going to be triggering a 20 trade-in for ourselves. So with the 20 trade-in, we now need to focus on a, clearing out the yellow player to put them in purgatory. And then we need to clear out the white player as much as possible while leaving a couple of stacks to make it hard for the other players to kill them. Because green is still a threat, potentially. But white now just gets four. Does white have a trade-in on three? This game is ridiculous. Holy cow, okay. Okay. So white did not do much here. Yellow's now going to go. I'm hoping yellow has the trade-in here. 
and that they slam green at ultra hard. Let's see. If Yell does not have the trade in, green can potentially double trade in if Yell just slams and gives up. Yell does not have a trade in. So now green gets 18. I'm assuming Yell did not slam. Green now trades in. They need to try to kill the white player. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yellow just slammed. Oh, wow. So the green player could win on a cap run. I have no trade in. So I don't think I can kill white right now. Wow. Does green win this game? Okay. Well, we got 40 troops. Okay. We need to kill the white player. This should guarantee it. And there we go. That is the white player eliminated. That's going to give us four cards here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. And now we place this entire stack down here like this. And then we attack this green position because we can. And then we leave a 60 stack down. Holy cow. Now green must have a trade in on three. And they do. Holy cow. Oh my goodness gracious. So they can slam me and get the card. And they can, but they only have eight troops that cannot cap run. They cannot cap run right now. But they've used the trade in for themselves. They've used the trade in. We still have the majority of the board right now. So green is now moving a tremendous stack off capital. This is absolutely insane right now, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe what I am seeing. We're getting 66 troops. I don't think green moved enough off of there. And now all I need to do is attack and break this right here. Oh, that's a monstrous roll, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. And let's go. We have it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> the incredible reverse honeypot sweep of destruction. I can't believe what I am seeing right now. And the green player can't do anything at all. There's no potential way for the green player to be getting a card right now for themselves. I'm just going to wait a turn or two to making sure and they just give up. They give up because they realize I was outproducing them and getting another trade in to win the game. Absolutely ridiculous right there. This is Olive XC signing off.